Hey everybody, Rambles here, and welcome back to The War Within and our full lore playthrough here on The Shadow Priest. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope everybody is doing well. Let's see, we are going to do some main story questing now. Did a bunch of side stuff over this way. And yeah, we got a bunch of side quests here too, but let's take the main quest first before we look at any of the side stuff. I speak for the Unbound, but they have no master. Edelgon tends to Ebona, a gravely injured earthen in the geothermal pool. With her focus directed solely on her wounded friend, she does not notice your approach. Follow what drives you. Personal directive. Prioritize the wounded. We cannot fight if... Unidentified. Another survivor from the crash? I'm Moira, of the Dark Iron and Bronze Beard. Balegrim. Stone Ward? I am not the Stone Ward. You know that. I know you abandoned your post. And you abandoned us. The Corway was attacked. It must be repaired. We were attacked too. You should have protected- <clears throat> I can see there is some uh, history between you. But if you haven't noticed, the Nerubians have you both in their sights. You need each other, age-old drama or not. The Unbound welcome all. It seems I have little choice but to hear you and Belgrim out. Heed the call of the Unbound. The Nerubian attack, your meteoric fall, and now Belgrim is here? Belgrim needs more hands for his Corway, but I couldn't help even if I wanted to. My people are dying as we speak. Some were abducted by the Nerubians during the attack. You're not the first Outlander I've met. A small fellow like Mora arrived here earlier and wasted no time following the Nerubians. He took the path west to a nearby cave. I would be in your debt if you found my people. Forge your own path. This is a waste of cycles. I will go to the quarry myself. Uh, right, I'm be the pretty first sure. Storm Rider it's seen for centuries. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is leading us into our first delve. Uh, what I want to do, though, is I'm going to go pick up all the side quests. Speak and be heard. The earthen who live outside Dornigal are ill-equipped to deal with hostile threats. They are workers, artisans, miners, farmers, not soldiers. Return Weapons and warriors. Gorlock again. raiders have been slaughtering these farmers and stealing their pearls. They seek our protection, but we may not be enough. I know of others nearby who can help. Seek them out and request their aid. If they are hesitant, offer them the promise of pearls as payment. We will also need to arm these farmers so they can defend themselves. Search for spare weapons and equipment that they might be able to use. I will go with the farmers and train them as best I can. May the titans carve your path. For the love of gems, before Dalaran crashed, I was a preeminent expert on gems, but I lost it all. Gems, books, scrolls, like everyone else. Imagine my surprise when I learned of a creature named Basaltius, who possesses knowledge of gems stretching back before the Sundering. I want that knowledge. I will do anything for it. But the rock-skinned yokels here won't tell me any more about Basaltius. Can you get the earthen to talk? Have a good one. Possibly. Tell 
tell me, what drives... I was supposed to see Coden earlier, but I'm as petrified of as unliving stone. The attack on the village was paralyzing. Could you do me a favor and deliver those jars to Coden? He's a stone's throw away in a village pottery shop. I must finish this piece before the clay dries. May all paths be open to you. Welcome, Outlander. Follow no directives but your own. Another outsider here came here asking the same question. Curious. You are not here on their behalf, are you? I told her that she is treading into thick mud trying to find Basaltius. I value both of your continued functioning. Too much to tell you how to find him. You can ask Kuron, he will tell you much the same. Now we got another quest over here. Need something to do? Outlander, your aid is requested. The Earthen here have said you would be of help. Our fellow Earthen at the Opal Craig have not reported their quota for the past day. There must be something causing a disruption. Would you pay Foreman Alvigar a visit? You go wherever you please, don't you? This is the second time someone has asked me about Basaltius today. What would someone want with that creature? I will tell you what I told her when she asked me for information. No. Don't look at me like that. All right, I will tell you where it is, but that is all. You need to know how to summon it to see it. There's a cave southwest of here. It is there. No more questions. Besides, I don't think anyone else knows of it, but perhaps Malak. Are all outsiders so persistent? You were the second to interrupt my tasks. I should not tell you anything, but if it'll keep you out of my beard wires... I hear Basaltius can be lured by violating the elemental balance around its den. There are four standing stones that act as seals. I will not say more than that. But may your path never lead where it treads. Turn back and do not execute your endeavor to find it. So it's going to be like a giant elemental creature that's going to try to kill us. That is what it seems like. Uh, yeah, we should, we should vendor our junk. Uh, we should take a look. I don't think we have any gear right now that we need. We probably need to keep reagents. Yeah, all the gear we should be able to sell. We should automatically get the appearances if any of the appearances are new. But yeah, we shouldn't need any of the greens. Now he has a couple of quests. Monsters in the Dark. 
The local quarry was an active source of clay and ore for us until the Fungarians took over some time ago. We were worried about the Fungarians encroaching upon the village, but there's something more. Multiple sightings of a creature much larger than our native wildlife have been reported at night. Combined with villager Modina's disappearance, I fear this is no coincidence. She visited the quarry recently and hasn't returned. We would be in your debt if you searched the tunnels. And buried not forgotten. Several suns ago, my friend Modina ventured into the quarry cave. She wanted to find rare ore for Hereka to help her craftsmanship. Modina was excited, I remember. A rare feeling for Earthen. She hasn't returned. The Fungarians prevent us from searching the area. It would mean a great deal to us if you could look for her. I didn't know it was possible to spend so much of the day thinking about what ifs. All right, so how do we want to approach this? I, I kind of want to keep clear in the side stuff before I tackle the main stuff. I, I kind of like that flow. So the main quest is leading us into our first delve. But I think I'm going to come up here, right where this quest is marked, actually. And, and we'll kind of then work backwards. I'm a city guard, not a soldier, but these people need our help. There are too many Nerubians for us to clear out. We can only keep this choke point and hope the miners make their way to us. That one was too small, but you look like a fighter. Help us. Resuming work cycle. Oh, we have uh, a second quest. Oh, Dagrin's here. Okay. Did you find something? I did not think the Opal Craig would be under attack. I'm sure Brinthe did not either. Peacekeeper he Hectare will not let me fight, but maybe she will let you. I'll stay here and tend to this earthen. I know a trick or two after being in Dornigal, but Brinthe really needed those Opals. I need some time to think. No other wielder has murdered Ooh. their way across a continent quite like you have. I admire your endurance. You were a good choice. No other wielder has murdered their way across the continent quite like you have. I admire your endurance. Why is Zalatath whisper? Oh, you know what? <laughs> uh, is it because I have transmogged Zalatath the weapon? Is that why we're getting Zalatath Whispers? That's... that's... really thematic. Hmm. Tend to idle all day. I'm hiding. Lay low. Foreman Jermina, Jamira sent you. She must be worried that we haven't sent over our quota. I'm still working. I've got a cut from the Are rest of the crew. Ready? We did not expect to be attacked by Nerubians, though I can't imagine the rest quitting. Our duty is too important to give up just yet. Barging right into the mine could cause the Nerubians to frenzy and hurt the others. So I found a third way to get in earlier, though undetected it will still be tough. Follow me. Work. Okay, I guess we're following her. See you up top, she says. She, We can't follow her because she vanished into thin air. Okay, good.
Hmm? Oh, I was just thinking. What is your command? So much to discuss. Now that we have the opals, we can meet Brinthe in Golgren's Reach. She said there's a project she's working on and she wants me to help with it. I wonder what it is. Keep your eyes open. Outsiders detected. A long way down to be sure, but I'm certain that you can make it. If you doubt yourself, I made some parachutes to help you stick your landing. Once you get to the bottom of the cave, look for Sendergrog. She's the most senior of the group and probably has the best idea how to rescue the team. If that is all... Make it quick. We're busy. An opal of mine. I'll be direct with you. We have a goal here, and those opals are the center of it. No one will leave until we get the job done. The opals are too important. If you can gather enough ore, we could convince them to leave. But be careful, those Nerubians are dangerous. Keep me informed. And web beats rock. So, Foreman Avalgar sent you. That explains it. The situation is not great. This place is crawling with Nerubians, and they're showing us no mercy. They forced us to the mine and took our hard-earned opals. When you disobey, they web you up. I was barely able to escape when they came. The others, well, that's where you come in. With you here distracting them, I can go rally the webbed earthen. Watch your step. Opal ore, crucial pieces of a lost puzzle. Okay. Enjoy that.
Uh, well, we have to find a way up. Unfortunately, like, I typically get hopelessly lost in caves, and, like, I'm not good at finding my way out of cave systems. Uh, especially when they don't have maps, I can- I get easily turned around. I wonder if there's anywhere in here I can simply mount up and fly out. Like, maybe down here. No, they- they don't want me getting out of here, possibly ever. Um, I'm gonna look around for a little bit. If I- if I can't find a way, what I'll do is I'll hearth out. And I'll fly back, and then maybe I'll do some editing. Because, yeah, I... Every pathway seems to just lead us deeper. Nothing seems to be leading us out. And uh, we, we dove in here, so it makes sense that there wouldn't be, like, a way to climb out. Because we literally took a parachute down. So I'm just wondering, like, what they expect us to do to get out. This looks like it's kind of leading up. Yeah, this might be the way. Have you met your quota? Stay productive. Watch your step. Some have started to evacuate, but there's a stubborn few that just won't let go. Could you say something? Maybe an outsider's perspective will get them moving. You go wherever you please. Uh, a couple you? questions. Why are the opals worth risking your life? How much have you seen of the isle? Have you seen the state of our society? There is dysfunction. These opals have the potential of renewing crucial technology that can change this. If there's a chance to fix our society, every one of us is willing to lay down our existence. Back to work. All right, so they need them to power their tech. Busy enough. Keep me informed. To make sure no other earthen gets harmed, we're going to have to eliminate their leader. You know the saying, rid yourself of the foreman and the whole line collapses. Either way, to get to safety, we're going to have to go through them. Stay productive. Alright, this is outside the mine. Ugh! <laughs> so annoying arriving just too late to get even a tag in. And then having to wait like three or four minutes for a respawn is rough. Uh, we did hit level 73 at some point. I haven't noticed a single time when we've leveled, I haven't noticed. Uh, Vampiric Touch and Shadow Word Pain deal 20% additional damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and take that.
And someone killed him again! <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I guess I have to stand right on his spawn point and I, I, I literally can't move. Like, as soon as I saw him up, he was already dying. I feel, like, I feel like even if these guys aren't going to hit very hard and not be very challenging, giving them a little bit more HP would be okay. That way other players nearby have a chance of getting there in time. Hello. See you around. So all they gave us was a location and a garbled riddle. I guess we know where to start. I can picture it now. Once I have Balsaltius' knowledge, I will have nobles and merchants lining up outside my house. No, my mansion. The earthen did say southwest, right? I will find the cave and meet you there. Safe travels. All right, let's turn in our other stuff first. Have our tasks. Communication in... Ah, uh, sorry. Hello. Alright, yeah, it's marking something, but I don't know what it's marking. We, we didn't see anything. Unfortunately, it's it's one of those quests uh, that I don't really like where we have to find the exact number of things So there are five warriors and they spawn five warriors and you have to find every single one of them Even if one of them is in a place that makes no sense uh, Great, okay, so like we come inside here and it vanishes, okay? Uh, on the outside of the building we get to see the yellow dot on the inside of the building. We see nothing So yeah, here we go. It's gotta be somebody up top Welcome, Outlander. Alright, all the warriors are found, all the weapons are collected. Let's let's go turn this one in. 
Actually, let's just let's just go to the west uh, and wrap up some of these other objectives. Uh, meeting her at the cave. Belongings found. Stone, stone stalker slain. Let's start there. There's also another quest down here somewhere. A uh, piece of paper concerning Fungarians. Abandoned in the dim candlelit chamber, the parchment, wrinkled and worn, bears the traces of hastily scribbled research notes. Log entry 235187. Date, fabrication quarter cycle. Observation, Fungarians exhibit accelerated growth and increased territorial aggression. Spore dispersal seems to have quadrupled compared to previous recorded rates. I guess everything is inside somewhere? Log entry 652123. Fungarians demonstrate aggressive something interactions, outcompeting nearby fungal species. The accelerated growth raises concern about potential ecological imbalances in the affected area. Uh, yeah, besides that, I guess we get something off this corpse when it respawns. There's something down below that we just didn't get. Observation, mycelium expansion noted at an alarming rate, infiltrating neighboring vegetation. Fungarians display a heightened response to environmental stimuli, showcasing a potential shift in their ecological behavior. And now we wait for, for respawn, I think. Uh, maybe. Yeah, here we go. Observation, Fungarians now spreading beyond the initial study site. Aggressive mycelia intrusion observed in unexpected habitats. Urgent investigation needed to assess the broader ecological impact of this newfound behavior. Oh, there was more. Ex Evacuation is recommended and research activities are temporarily halted for the safety of all involved. So the spores are getting out of control, as spores are wont to do. Everything's got to be down in this cave. I, I think we're going into the cave. Medina's notes, the slate tablet is carefully etched with earthen... Medina's bag of ore, filled with red ore that looks exclusive to gem vein tunnels.
Memory gem fragment. Dull and filled with spiderweb cracks, the gem piece is so fractured it might crumble in your grip. The original gem must have suffered immense physical damage. There is no salvaging this. Chunks of stone are missing from the earthen's body, and the remains are streaked with mud. Tiny pale mushrooms sprout densely all over the corpse. Larger bulbous growth protrudes from the earthen's mouth and ears. A broken memory gem sits crushed within the body. Oh, jeez. What a messed up way to go. How am I getting out of here? Yeah, let's let's kill this enormous mushroom guy. What took you so long? Those raging elementals could have killed me. I mean, luckily they didn't see me, but you could have gotten here a bit faster. See you later. Look at the walls of the cave. Look at all these gems. I can't believe it. The stories must be real. I'm gonna be so, so rich and influential and powerful. I need to sit down for a moment and catch my breath. Safe travels. According to the earthen, we have to lure the spirits <clears throat> or disturb it or something. The four standing stones they mention have depleted elemental cores laying around them. There are igneous elementals outside on the beach to the north. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Could you get me elemental cores? Maybe just a few? We're so close, we might as well try. See you around. Igneous core, under a layer of sand and dust, lies a hard elemental core that tremors faintly in your hands. Hmm.
need something? Have a good one. See you later. To place the cores next to each standing stone, it's time to summon Mesaltius. I wonder travels. if he's gonna like get summoned and he's just gonna like How smush her. See you later. She seems a little greedy, a little power hungry. Hello. Have a good one. Uh, and now we're supposed to do something. First core placed. Okay, there's little icons on the ground here. Uh, a king of old, binded by pride, he thought he could rule more than just his mortal subjects. The curse of never-ending desire brings mortals and creators alike to their knees. The self-consumed love for one's appearance hides the inner gem from sight. Coveting others' natural talents leads to stagnancy and self-ruin. This is like the Ten Commandments or something. Subdue it. Okay, uh, we've subdued him. I am here to grant your heart's desire. What? Really? That was easier than I thought. Hey there. That was almost effortless, for me at least. Can you imagine what I can do with this knowledge? Can you imagine my name spoken in Stormwind, Gilneas, maybe even Orgrimmar? I will be able to do and achieve everything I wanted. Everyone will finally look up to me. I will have all the gold for I, for all I can find and create. See you around. Okay. I'm ready, creature. Give me your knowledge. I'm gonna move out the way. What's happening? No! To know the gem, one must learn humility, patience, and nurturing, like the high mountains and deep caves that harbor gems. You will remain in this form for many eons until your inner silent screams cease and the calmness of your mind guide your heart to the task. Only after thousands of years of this stillness will you learn the truth of the perfect gem as I do. You will wait patiently like the others before you. Wow. I mean, I guess she didn't die, but basically dead. Picks a human woman, her hand is outstretched as if trying to command Basaltius. Beside her is another stone figure resembling you. Uh, I don't know why. Okay, uh, that's, that's the end to that one. Okay, we, so we let him know we found the one lady dead inside the spore cave. She had the spores growing out of her body in the broken oh, memory gem. Rebecca looks as though the things you retrieved, looks through the things you retrieved one by one. So you risked your life to find our friend. Modina is gone then. Her notes are about the rare ore from the cave. Melted down, it becomes a beautiful glaze for pottery. What can I do? I'm no fighter. I can't avenge her. Besides, her body has already been reclaimed by the Earth. That much is certain by the state of her memory gem fragment. What can I do now but make a pot? Will you help me? May your choices oh yeah, return. let's do some crafting.
communication in... Oh, oh sorry. <clears throat> Hello. Alright, so that's the majority of the side quest right in this area. Obviously, we have a couple leading us out to the east. Weapons and Warriors, Gulgren's Reach. Um, okay, yeah, let's let's continue to work on these side quests before we do the delve. I feel like that's that's okay. I do like stopping and clearing the side quest before we really progress with the main quest. I feel like otherwise it, it might kind of feel like we're blowing through main story stuff really fast. From what I understand, like, there's not an overwhelming amount of main story stuff. It's kind of a smaller MSQ than traditionally. So I'm hoping that we just kind of like fill the space, fill the storytelling with, with all the side content. Alright, so we've gathered warriors, we've gathered weapons. Maybe it's not enough. Communication initiated. Gorlocks are not to be underestimated. I have fought them before, but none so organized as this tribe. But we must remain focused. We will continue speaking Good work. Later. I'm glad you were able to recruit some fighters. It is worse than I expected, and we will need everyone we have. Faith. Pilfered pearls. We the pearls that these farmers harvest are their only source of livelihood. Some of these earthen even look at pearl farming as their primary reason for existing. The Gorlocks continue to pilfer pearls at every opportunity. As you eliminate the Gorlocks, search them for the stolen pearls. Let us recover as many as we can. May look more round and frontline farmers. Fall. Most of the farmers here are already out in the field defending their positions. I have trained them as best I could given the circumstances, but they are still wielding farming tools. I need you to distribute the weapons you gathered to those on the front lines. While that may not markedly improve their combat ability, at least it will boost their confidence that they are not alone in this fight. The Titans will return. Be ready. I really appreciate that there's like different types of weather here and stuff like that. I know eventually we're going to be spending a lot of the expansion underground. And there's probably not going to be as much time to experience like things like active weather. Pilford Pearl, a pleasantly pretty pearl covered in gross gerlock guts. So we're doing like, uh, we're doing some rhymes now, I guess. Some tongue twisters.
the other nice thing about the active weather is that it's brief. You know, it starts raining, it rains for a couple minutes, and then it clears up. Sometimes in Classic, you get into a zone where it's like raining in Classic and it rains for hours and hours. And it seems like it never clears. The hallway must be protected. Return if you wish to speak again. Heart of a hero. <clears throat> it seems the Gorlocks have been bolstering their forces with summoned elementals. That explains how they were able to overrun the farmers so easily. It will take all of our strength to hold off the Colossi already in the field. I need you to stop any new elementals from being created. Elementals of this size and power can only be created by the most powerful of Gorlock shaman. Seek them out behind enemy lines and eliminate them. The Gorlock, or this should end the Gorlock threat to the farmers once and for all. May the Titans carve your path. Alright, we're charging into battle. I hope they don't kill this character off, I kind of like her. But, uh, you know, that means they probably will kill her off.
they killed her off. I effing knew it. <laughs> they literally don't have any new tricks. It's like, it's so obvious when they're going to kill off like a B character because it'll be a character that you kind of like. It'll be a character that's had a little tiny bit of story, a little tiny bit of character development. And then there's going to be some kind of fight and they just kill them off. It's like, instead of developing them, maybe even moving them eventually from a B-list character to a main character, why go through all the effort of developing a character? Why go through all the effort of writing a story arc when you can just kill them off instantly? I wonder if they understand like that. that's a, a reason why sometimes people find it hard to care about the stories and to care about the lore is because they, they are just so, so quick to throw out characters. And it makes it kind of pointless to care about any of them. Speak freely. Thank you for your no aid, stranger. Without you, none of this would have been possible. You have given us back our livelihood today and our hope. Take this as a small token of gratitude. It is not enough, but it is all we can offer. Let us now turn our attention to Agartha. Okay. Our lives are our own. Uh, we got another achievement. Uh, let's see, when we had no one to turn to, Agartha chose to help us, not out of reward or obligation, but simply a sense of duty to her fellow Earthen. As we fought the Colossi, these Gorlocks here attempted to flank us. With no one available, Agartha split off alone to intercept them, though vastly... Oh boy. Uh, let's see, even in death, she has refused to fall. Agartha has made an impact, and the quest text scrolled too quickly. Okay. Another thing that would have been great to hear voice acted. Uh, do we want to head out here? Yeah, let's 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 continue down the road here, and we'll figure out what this last side quest is down in this area. Yeah, see, this is the area we had a we had a event here earlier that we already did. Probably would have been possible to pair these two up together. Another puzzle to solve? An archaeological site, a Titan vault. Sorry, I got distracted. The Titan console is a huge find, and look at these ruins. There has to be more here. But going out into the site is dangerous, according to Brynth. Now that the Titan Vault has been unearthed, Elementals have come. Elementals don't like order magic, and Titan Relics just ooze the stuff. They're on a rampage. Can you go out and get some of the relics back from the Elementals? We need to power what we... We need to preserve what we can. Oh, are you headed out? And Speaker Brynth. What Brynthe? is your query? I am pleased Dagrin has brought you here. I need help with a dangerous task. I used Dagrin's opals to repair the Titan Council we recently recovered from the site. The Oathsworn have long wanted to learn more about the Titans and restore records unreachable in the Archive, or from before its construction. This council may hold some answers if we can bring it back online. Take this device I have made, it will lead you to the Titan power cells we can use to power it on now that it is restored. Task resumed. Each fragment tells a new thousand-year-old story. All right. And yeah, this was the area we were in where like nothing respawned. The respawn rate was really slow, there weren't alert really a lot of enemies here. Uh, and we need to collect a bunch of stuff, like... We need a lot of, of things, and uh, we need enemies to spawn more quickly.
The cell's gold trimming has rusted away, but the dusty cell thrums ever so faintly in your hands. Perhaps it is, still contains a bit of its power. I feel like sometimes this leads me somewhere that's like nowhere. Yeah, I, I'm not really, I'm not really understanding this mechanic, I guess. Oh, here we go. Like it, nope, nope, that didn't do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting it. it. It fills up, it starts to reveal something. I guess I have to stand in one place for long enough for it to actually reveal it. One more to go. focus speak your piece make sure to take notes I attend to the archive insert the batteries into the cylindrical holes on the console then Titans willing we will see what it holds back to work Titan emitter, masterfully constructed, made from a single piece of metal, its purpose is yet unknown. 
The device appears to be dormant. We may need another power source to determine the device's function. I, I guess maybe I was supposed to use it when he's still alive. <laughs> yeah, it, it looks like you, you do that while he's alive, not after you kill him. Uh, five minutes on a respawn, I guess. Let's go grab this herb over here. Conversation initiated. Curious, it is emitting a signal. I have seen this before. I have an idea where this may lead us. Conversation terminated. This is a place behind Dornigal that I cannot go. And I am the only one. Something, a force, most likely tightened in origin, keeps the Earthen from investigating a small portion of the island behind the city. This, of course, fires my curiosity, but for thousands of years I have dutifully kept away. It seems the Titans will. The site emits a faint signal like the one from this device. Perhaps it is the key in the literal sense to what lies there. We will see. Return if you have oh. more queries. Come with me, Dagrin. Perhaps you can help me process what has happened here. Of course, Speaker. We'll need to hear... We'll meet you near the abandoned tower behind Dornigal. Okay, yeah. That, that sounds good. We do have a quest to turn in back in Dornigal. Uh, my Hearthstone is set the door and go, let's use our Hearthstone. We haven't been using our Hearthstone very often. Slash ever. Interrupted. Clearance granted. This armor is generally reserved for storm riders, but for your valor, I give you special clearance. Uh, is there? Do I get all of it? The Titans I mean, I guess I get return. all of it. Be ready. I may have granted you clearance to wear our armor, but to focus the storm's power through it is the great is as the greatest storm riders do. The greatest storm riders in our order do not merely possess the power of the storm, they have mastered it, and this mastery is forged over many battles. It is time to prove yourself in one of our best. Collect 500 storm spirits. Resume okay. work cycle. Uh, that being said, did I actually unlock any transmog or anything, or what did I, what did I get exactly? Yeah, I'm not sure that we... Oh, here we go. That's cool. So we got some different color variations on the Stormrider attire. Because uh, the, the base one we already had. But yeah, these are, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. I actually don't mind this. Let's, let's do that. Can do like a little red scarf there. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. Good fortune to all friends of the Grumble. Alright, that was worth it. Let's go after this last side quest up here. The Place Forgotten.
Uh, on the map here, we have a marker called the Stone of the Unbound. I, I'm not sure what this is. In this spot, a gathering of like-minded stonebound took place, a gathering of earthen that for millennia have witnessed the cracks in our society created by the unquestioning belief in our creators, the Titans, and their return. A gathering of earthen that wish to no longer be bound to the edicts of long-gone oppressors. Henceforth we, the stonebound gathered here, declared ourselves the unbound, free from the Titans and the edicts. Now we will go forth from this place to enlighten others that they can leave their directives behind and live as they see fit. And words of this first meeting will forever remain here on this stone. The Stone of Unbound. Kriegvel. Okay, so these are like, when we see that magnifying glass, that's like a lore tidbit. That's uh, like incredibly important to me. So we need to keep our eyes open for that as we fly around the place. Machines must be preserved. I cannot describe what this place feels like to me. It is oppressive. I cannot think. The urge to turn back is strong. May your cause. Long ago, true. there were once plans to build a tunnel through the mountain into Dornigal. Before excavation could begin, the surrounding area was suddenly abandoned. There's no record of what happened, only a deterrence, the field that keeps Earthen away from this region. Every part of my cognitive matrix is pressing for me to leave, but we must persist. The device's signal indicates something lies within the nearby tower. I will ensure your name is in the archive. The surrounding weapon cache and other supplies are covered in thick cobwebs and dust. There are gaps where several weapons are missing, presumably taken to be used. Despite this, it appears that no one has been here for a long time. Watcher Galan has grown paranoid. She asks us what has become of Watcher Dornick. We have claimed ignorance, but she has been interrogating our kin and then collecting their memory gems. She will stumble upon one of us soon, or worse, find our armaments cache. We must move tonight. Okay, that sounds bad. Titan emitter. Activate the device rambles. Okay, okay. How do I... There we go. Dornick earned his fate. Oh god, this is going way too fast. Ugh, voice acting, Blizzard. Voice acting. Dornick earned his fate. Both defied directives. Galan, you... Misuse memory gems, lapse in judgment, you will be repurposed. Watch over, no more, instead, safeguard my dot dot dot. Give me something to figure out. I'm not sure what's affecting Brinthe, but it's clear she's in pain. I offered to escort her back to the city, but she refused. I will stay with her and make sure she does not take a turn for the worse or try to figure this device out more too. I'll contemplate what we talked about. Forget what you found in the tower, did you see that? Those look like Titan Watchers, but what does it all mean, and who were they? On to adventure! Dornick, Galan, I've heard those names at the Procenium. But who was speaking? They were not happy with Galan, all those earthen bodies. Repurposed? Like reprogrammed? To protect what? Let's chase the other signal, looks like it leads up ahead into the hills. I'm gonna stay here with Brynth and investigate this tower further, you take the device. Keep your eyes open. The voice seems to indicate that perhaps something else is here. Did you not say there was another signal? We should track it. Affirmative, but I would exercise caution. There could be unknown dangers locked away here.
must protect the, must protect the, must protect. Don't think she knew what was going on there at the end. The pain is gone, I can think clearly. I read about this. You saw another memory and it attacked you? That's awesome. I mean, I'm so glad you're okay. While you were tracing the signal, I found more notes. I put them together for you to read. It's about... It's more about Dornick and Galan. But it looks like we know where Galan ended up at least without him buried under tons of rock. But what was she guarding? What was so important that she was repurposed to safeguard it for thousands of years? We have more questions than answers. I do not like it. Sorry. I got distracted. Okay. How many pages? A sh ton of pages. Okay, we're gonna read this. Uh, if you don't want to listen, skip ahead a little bit. Uh, the first few pages seem to be the notes cataloging different cuts of stone from quarry to be used. You recognize sketches of some of the larger stones as those used in the keystones in the arches of Dornigal, then suddenly the ledger changes. I feel compelled to write. I am making a note to dispose of this later. There is something inside of me, calling me. Perhaps it is the Titans? Its voice is mournful. I feel perhaps anger? Is this sadness? But only the Keepers, the Watchers, and the Titans feel such things. No, it is something else. I will devote some processing to it. You flip through more notes and sketches of stone before finding another page of writing. I have discovered what I feel. It is unease. The emotion is directed at the Watchers, Dornick and Galan. They have their reasons, I am sure, for deactivating many of us at their discretion, but my programming, or something else, tells me something is not right. I should speak to those within my sector group, someone who has discretion. I did not know so many of us felt the same about Dornick and Galan. When our keepers brought them to us, we rejoiced and, and proposed to name the fortress we were building in their honor. But now many of us are in agreement. Our blessed keepers may not soon return. We must do something about Dornick. We cannot lose more of us to his rages. Galan we will spare. She is cold and apathetic, but she has done no real harm. This page is an itemized list of stockpiled weapons, armors, earthen names. It was a formidable army, and the armory that you discovered does not seem to contain all their weapons. We are ready. At the beginning of the second shift cycle, we will march to the Keeper's Villa outside Site Zero. Hopefully Dornick will be resting there. After taking many losses, Watcher Dornick has been deactivated. All of us had returned to our task by the beginning of the Prime Shift. Watcher Galan has not yet noticed Dornick's absence. There are some half-hearted stone sketches on this page. The sketcher's hand is unusually un unsteady. Watcher Galan has asked us what has become of Watcher Dornick. We have claimed ignorance, but she has been interrogating different earthen and then deactivating them. She will soon stumble upon us. Wow. Okay, so the Keepers left them like a couple of like Titan constructs here to kind of like govern them, but they went wacky. Started like just killing earthen. <laughs> They got sick of it, and they killed the one, and then the other, I guess, found out about it. Ah, uh, is that... is that it? Did that... did that whole quest chain just, like, end? Yeah, I guess that was the the end of that quest line. Alright. Guys, in that case, I'm gonna take a break right here for now. And when we come back, we're gonna do our first delve. We'll continue with the main story questing, we'll do our first delve, and I, I wanna follow the main quest for a bit, and we'll see if it leads us up to Rambleshire. Uh, if we don't get led up here by main questing, we will go up here and do all of the side quest. I'm also noticing that we have a side quest over in this direction as well. So yeah, thank you guys very much for joining me here. I am having a really good time just doing all these side quests. It feels pretty good. Uh, besides some issues with like low spawn rates and just like kind of like a lack of mob density overall, the side questing feels really good. Uh, the quests are well written, they're interesting, they're engaging, and I'm having a good time. Thank you guys for being here for it. If you are digging the content, leaving a like on the video certainly helps me out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves and take care of each other, and we will see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.